Here is an example of human-caused erosion. Sometimes the best solutions are the simplest and the most obvious. Instead of taking a shortcut and damaging or killing all the plants, take the designated trail. What a simple solution. Sequoia and I noticed that um, there's a lot of erosion to the side of us. This trail has an, a slope. So when water runs down the slope, it, it will erode um, a lot of the plant material that's not established. This net, it's organic net, helps uh, keep the soil in place. And as you can see, uh, grass is beginning to grow. Once that grass grows, it will stop the, that erosion from happening. Solutions to erosion. This trail, just a few years ago, was very dangerous to walk on because of human erosion and because of water erosion. As you can see, it has a very steep slope. Once that water started going the pathway, it wore more and more of our soil away. But we have a solution to it. As you can see, I'm walking on wood tile or wood um, railroad tile. And each one of these slows that rain down. It has a little bit of a groove right here. So as the rain hits that groove, it kind of pushes it off to the side. Also, the human erosion is reduced because now we're using that as steps and not wearing out the soil. So lots of solutions to erosion caused by people and by nature. This retaining wall retains or holds back the soil on the other side. If this structure was not here to prevent erosion, the hill would get washed away upon the trail and be on top of the road as well. As you know, there are many ways to slow down erosion. One way is to simply use huge rocks like these with lots of other smaller rocks to slow that flow of water coming off this hillside. Well, because the water goes so fast, there's another solution right with us called a culvert. So as we look down here, the water will come off those rocks, it will get slowed down, and then wash under the culvert so it doesn't wash away the road. We don't want our roads to erode. That's very dangerous. Many of my frog friends live near culverts. Please keep the water clean from water pollution and litter. Our weather, especially here in Minnesota, causes erosion. We call that weathering. When water seeps into cracks and freezes, it expands. It makes those cracks larger and larger. But there's a solution. We can put in this material that expands and fills in those gaps and helps the sidewalk or roads last longer. I like solutions that fix the problem and make the object last longer. This helps our planet and saves us money. Making new things creates more pollution. Be a problem solver and a fixer. What do you think would happen if this tunnel was just made of dirt? It'd be a pretty dangerous structure and there'd be a lot of erosion. Those boulders and the cement tunnel are designed to stop erosion and keep the area safe so the bikers can pass through and the traffic go above. I love this solution because tunnels like this promote forms of pollution-free energy like walking and biking. I love plants. Without plants, there'd be no life. But uh, plants sometimes grow in places that we don't want them to grow, like on this tennis court. I don't want to use chemicals like herbicides and spray on there because that's harmful to our environment. So instead, I can help uh, prevent erosion by simply just pulling it out with my hand. There, simple solution to helping stop erosion. One of the biggest human causes of erosion and pollution is the burning of forests, like the Amazon rainforest, to raise cattle and food for the cattle. This will be a future hop episode. We have solutions to save the amazing Amazon rainforest and all of our animal friends that live there. Sequoia's list of solutions to help reduce or stop erosion that were presented in this hop episode.